photo with Kate, something happened which made me... It kind of put a slight downer on my evening. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. So I went to the Katie Price Makeup Masterclass. Now I just wanna clarify why I went. Number one, I am a huge fan. I have been watching her ever since the jungle back in the day. Um, I've been following her career and I genuinely love watching her. I watch her Quest Red show. I really like her. Secondly, when I did some research on the masterclass, I couldn't find any information, and any information that was out there seemed to be a little bit negative. Like, for example, one article criticized the goodie bags, and secondly, how she was posing with fans. Now, I know what it feels like to work very hard on something, and for the press to pick up on, like, a tiny negative, and they will never focus on, like, the 99% of the positive, so, so I wanted to do this video because this is going to be completely honest, it isn't going to be clickbaity, it's just going to be my experience. I am all about a fair review. But let's just start from the beginning. So the makeup masterclasses, they are priced at £80. Um, so I was going to go to the Somerset show, uh, which was on the 29th of February. Now this class did get cancelled, but let me just explain. On Monday the 24th of February, I did get this text message and it said, Hi, hope you're well. We are having to reschedule the Katie Price Makeup Masterclass this week due to unforeseen circumstances. The rescheduled date for the Somerset is Saturday the 2nd of May. If you can't attend the new date, please reply back to this text. However, I could not attend the 2nd of May because that's in fact my brother's wedding, so I couldn't make that day. So I responded and said, hello, would it be possible to switch the date to London on the 7th of March, please? I went online and the show for London hadn't sold out yet. But they responded responded with, sorry, I can't do London, unfortunately, but I'll wait till the 2nd of May. I was a bit confused by this message. So I answered back saying, unfortunately, I cannot make the 2nd of May. Please, could I have a refund? Then someone else messaged me back on another thread. Hi, what's your order number and full name so we can refund you? Thanks. Or would you like to attend the London date? So I said, I can make the London date if that's okay. Yes, that's fine. What's your full name so we can send you in London info? To be honest with you, I was absolutely fine with the rescheduled date. Um, I don't know the reason why, like the ins and outs, um, but you know, five days is plenty of notice for me anyway. I have no idea why it got cancelled, but I know that she did post something on her Instagram on the 18th of February. And it says, I've decided to take a break from this horrible media world. I'm absolutely heartbroken. I'm having a dramatic change in my life for the better. I don't want to have to read or see anything in the press about me, my family and friends or my exes. This has all got to stop. I'll be back when I'm ready. I also know that her dog uh, was tragically killed uh, around that time as well. And I personally am okay with this. I just think that if you are struggling with your mental health um, and doing something will have an impact on that, it's too costly. I mean, you should just do what is right for you. So I think she's been out of the media for a good three weeks now and I can only imagine it's just, just for her. Um, so I am not gonna comment whatsoever. I know she was very upset about Caroline Flack and her dog dying. That is two massive things. So I am not in no way gonna be like, how dare she cancel that date because I have no place to say that. Um, if anything, I'm glad she's looking after her mental health and her and her family and yeah. So what is involved with the masterclass? So on the website, it says, join Katie Price for an evening filled with makeup. Katie Price will share her top makeup looks and explain how to recreate them alongside her makeup artist, Zoe James. Everyone will get a chance to meet Katie and take a photo with her and ask questions during the masterclass. You will get a goodie bag worth 50 pounds on the evening. And yeah, that's what's involved with the evening. So I do have the goodie bag right here. So I will unbox that at the end of this video. So you're gonna have to wait until the very end. I just wanna quickly say a couple of things that she said to us when she came out. But firstly, she looked absolutely incredible. Really, really good. Anyway, she did come out and say that like, with regards to the photos at the end, she did kindly request that if people had a cold um, or didn't feel well to not like, 
like get close to her because she was seeing her mum the next day and as we all know her mum's not very well and I totally respect that and of course with the coronavirus at the moment um, she was really polite about it um, and everyone was like yeah that's absolutely fine. Also with the questions that we were able to ask her throughout the uh, mask class she just did say that only makeup related questions like beauty related and nothing about her personal life which for me was fine because I know for a fact that there were a few journalists undercover in the audience. Um, so yeah, very smart move. I'm glad that she addressed that at the beginning. Anyway, I'm gonna start waffling. I'm gonna take you through my evening. Um, yeah, enjoy the next part. Grab a cuppa. Here is my experience outfit that i'm wearing so this dress is from everything five pounds i absolutely love it i've got my gucci belt oh hello milo um i saw it first boots i'm all ready to head to london okay i'm kind of hoping you guys can hear me but i've just arrived in london really early i'm like an hour early so we're gonna go get some food before we head off because the event's uh, 5 until 8 p.m so um i'm gonna miss dinner so i'm gonna get some to eat because i'll be starving by the end i'm just gonna get a pret my go-to here at paddington so yeah we're here we're safe trains are actually quite busy still um hoping the tubes are empty um <laughs> But you know, it's a Saturday in London, so anyway, let's uh, get some food. It is so loud in here, but anyway, I usually go for the um, Hulumi hot wrap, but I'm thinking just go for like a grilled cheese. I reckon that will fill me up for the rest of the evening. Love Pratt. I just love the fresh stuff they do in here. There's a guy that works here in Pratt and he's got like the worst cough ever. And I was just like, oh my God, please don't cough on me because it might be coronavirus. It's so bad, I know, because it probably isn't the coronavirus, but you know. I'm here ready, I'm gonna anti back my hands and then uh, eat my grilled cheese. My lashes look so weird. <laughs> uh, these are the Huda ones, they're really good, but I think I applied this one not so well. Um, they're the individual, not individual, but they're like come in like strips of like four and then you place them on your eye. I mean, I may have to train myself. I'm getting good at putting them in, but they look really good though. Okay guys, I have arrived, no troubles at the door, which is great. My name was not on the list, but um, I said what happened and they were like, cool, go up, which is great. So, gonna go up to all the way to the top floor. Um, seems to be quite a lot of people gonna be here today, which is good to know. Hey guys, sorry, I'm in this really dark bathroom uh, trying to kind of update you. So I'm in the um, event, first impressions, really well put together i am so impressed um i'm gonna put some clips next to show you kind of what it looks like but i'm actually like impressed like the spread they have here is so good i wasn't expecting food so that's a really lovely touch um really nice space um i'm not really sure if we're allowed to film or take photos so um, i'm just gonna play it by ear um but yeah so far so good so i'm just gonna show you around in the next clip I don't know what that sound was. It's almost five o'clock and I think a bit of time was meant to be spent like eating and just getting drinks and whatnot. So not really sure when it will start, but anyway, I'm gonna grab some food. Honestly, the spread is delicious. This is the amazing food table. So it's a grazing table and the company called Peach and Primos came in and did it. I'm not sure if they did it for, as a PR thing, but anyway, it was a lovely touch. Uh, this is my plate. I enjoyed the cheese very much. Uh, now this is what the event looked like. I really liked this kind of like foyer um, bits because it had like food tables, it had a pool table, it had this like selfie um, machine taking thing. I was just really impressed. I was not expecting any of this. Now this is what the London Masterclass looked like but when I went onto the makeup artist's Instagram, on the left is I think is Liverpool 
Liverpool and on the right Aberdeen. As you can see, they're completely different. So I think each event is very um, unique and different. So this is just my experience of the London one. Um, other masterclasses may be different. This is on the other side to the masterclass area and this is where the photos were taken later on. The light in this room is absolutely shocking. I'm gonna hold my camera just here. I'm actually in the toilet. I'm having such a good time, so it's the first half, we're just having kind of intervals, so I just ate some of that lovely food. Um, I haven't really filmed the actual masterclass because I'm trying to be respect respectful because I don't want any photos or filming being taken place, which is absolutely fine. So I'm just gonna talk about like my experience. Anyway, so we've just been like talking about makeup and we've been asking questions. Kate is just so genuine, honestly. She's like, she's like, the girl next door, like, like not the girl next door, but like she's like a neighbour. She's like talking to everyone like she knows them, and it's been really, really friendly. Um, yeah, it's been really, really enjoyable so far. We're going into the second interval in a second, where I think it's going to be more like kind of doing some of the audience makeup. And also Harvey Price is here as well. He is so funny. So yeah, we've got a bit of a bonus um, with this uh, this Mace masterclass. But yeah, it, I am so impressed. I'm genuinely saying it, I'm having such a good time so far. Okay, part two, I will try and get something if I can, but like I said, I want to be respectful. Uh, and we've got a really good goodie bag as well, which I'll show you later too. Okay, right, it's in a bit. You actually put a bit of black eyeshadow on that. That would just get rid of that, so it's quite a good tip too. <laughs> really sorry that I didn't get loads of footage from the event but like I said I really wanted to be respectful because they didn't want um, filming during the masterclass so um, yeah I, I didn't film during the masterclass. Anyway I do have the goodie bag to show you so let's just see if the critics were right about the goodie bag. First up in the goodie bag, we have a pair of fake lashes. So these are the Flammy Insta Famous lashes and these are by Unicorn Cosmetics. Now I don't know if um, Katie's makeup artist Zoe James has an affiliation with them because I dig on her Instagram and she has Unicorn Cosmetics tagged in her description. Anyway, so we did get a pair of these. I did talk about lashes a lot in the masterclass. So I went on to Beauty Bay and you can get these for seven pounds. But I went on to Unicorn Cosmetics website and you can get them for eight pound 49. So I'm gonna go with eight pound 49 because I'm not gonna be a dick about it. Next up we have the Flora Now Enamel and this is the jelly look one. Now Flora is a Primark makeup brand. You can find them in Primark. Um, I know this isn't very expensive. I did go online. There's not a lot of people selling them online, but I did find a website and this is worth £1.90, but they have it discounted for £1.71, but I'm going to go with £1.90. The colour is really gorgeous. I am loving blue right now. Up next, we've got something for the lips and I love a lip product. So this is Amber Turner by JYY Cosmetics and this is a lip gloss in the shade diamond now on the website um this is worth 10 pounds but it's currently on sale for five pounds i'm gonna go with like the full price so 10 pounds let's have a little look so it's just a clear lip gloss to go on top of a matte lipstick maybe or just to wear on its own then we got something by that gloss um so this is actually a matte liquid lipstick in the shade bombshell so that will go really nicely with me, me, move me, with my Amber Turner product. Now this is worth 10 pounds. Ooh, this is a really nice color. <gasps> okay, it's like a red shade. And I love a bit of red. Up next, we have another Flora product and this is the Strawberry Balm and it has SPF 15 in it. Now I did go onto the same website, which is ladymakeup.com and this is being sold for three, no, £2.32, but they do have a discount for £2.09, but I'm gonna take the higher price, of course. So this is what it looks like. Oh, that's nice. Does it smell of strawberry? It smells of strawberry. Then we've got other bits and bobs. So we do have like a discount code for Breeze Balm. Then we've got Zoe James's business card, a little Katie Price chocolate, and on the back it says, thank you for coming to my makeup masterclass. Love, Katie Price. That's nice. And then we do have a sample size um, fragrance. This is by Dupe Sense. Um, 
this is just a sample size. I mean, like you can get this free over the counter, so I don't know. So tallying everything up, um, the makeup bag, the goodie bag is worth £34.22 and that's taken in consideration the like higher price. If I was to take the lower price because a lot of the products are discounted online, um, yeah, everything's worth £25.80. So the goodie bag isn't worth £50, which is such a shame. I think at most this is worth about £35.22 and that's adding a pound onto like the worth of the goodies. The only thing I can comment about that, it's not a bad goodie bag. It is a good one, but they shouldn't advertise it for £50. Pounds. I think it's fair for me to say that. So on top of the goodie bag, they did have cupcakes there. Now I didn't get my hands on one because there was only like, I'd say, I don't know how many, but like a small amount. A lot of us didn't get um, this cupcake, but the cupcake, oh my God, it looked insane. It was quite large and it looked like a makeup bag. Um, I was really sad that I didn't get one. I think only like a good 10 people did. Um, anyway, I wasn't expecting the cupcake, but it would have been nice if there was like one for each paying person that was there. So, what did I think of the event? Personally, I absolutely loved the event. I thought it was really well put together. So from the actual masterclass itself, I actually took away a lot of tips, um, but also I'm gonna get two products. Uh, the Krylon Derma Cover Concealer. Apparently it's really good at covering scarring and it looked fab on Kate's. Also, I'm gonna get the Peaches and Cream Pigment Colors. Where I was sat in the masterclass, I could see the pigment, the color on Kate's um, eyelid and it looked amazing so I'm definitely gonna get those two products at the end of today why did I say at the end of today well very soon anyway I absolutely loved how personal the event was I was able to freely ask questions to both Kate and Zoe and they would answer them um, and also Kate kind of spoke to you like just normally like a normal person and it was a lot of fun and everyone had the opportunity to ask questions you could just shout out what you know questions about what she was doing like as in like what they were doing with the makeup not with what she's doing in her life um and i just loved it and i thought that was really like personal i've actually been to a lot of like blogger and brand events and i just wanted to say that the standard of the event was like up there with like the brands and the blogger events and i've been to quite a few, actually I've been to many of these events. Um, so yeah, the standard was as of the same, which for me was really great to see. I also just want to mention this one thing that happened during the masterclass. So in the second interval, um, it was more like about the audience. So there was in total three members of the audience that came up and makeup was applied to them basically. So two of them were people who had paid to be there and audience members. But what kind of like nerfed me a little bit is that the final girl that came up was um, the makeup artist's friend. Now, if my friends were coming to like a masterclass of mine, I know that I wouldn't have charged them. So I was a little bit like, did you pay to be here? Because it would have made much more sense and fairer if it was like someone who had paid to be there to come up and have makeup. Um, applied to them. In this instance, it was the eyelashes. And I know, I just know that someone in the audience would have like, liked it to bin them um so yeah that 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 nerfed me a little bit but it's only like a minor thing the photo at the end was a bit different um i thought that i would be able to take a photo on my phone but i wasn't able to take a photo on my phone they had um a phone there and they were going to email us the photos um i think it's because they didn't want it getting into the press i think i'm um, not really sure the reason behind that but you got a photo with kate when i had my photo with Kate, something happened which made me, it kind of put a slight downer on my evening. So I had my photo taken and I just turned to her and said, how's your YouTube channel going? Um, and she responded saying, yep, yeah, there's gonna be lots of content coming. However, I'm not here to answer that question. Um, I understand why she said that because she didn't know who I was, she didn't know I was a YouTuber. The question was just like meant in like, How's your YouTube go to go How's the YouTube channel going? And it's a question that I would ask anyone with a YouTube channel. Um, I didn't mean it to like dig and ask questions. I like it never meant in that way. But like I just felt that she could just said like, yeah, there's lots of content coming, and just like ended there. But I just felt it was very defensive of her to say, um, well, I'm not here to answer that question. She said it really quite abruptly, and it made me feel a bit like, 
oh, I didn't mean to piss you off kind of thing. So I kind of walked away a little bit embarrassed because it was like said in front of everyone. And I, I just knew that I didn't mean it in like a, I was trying to get information because that's not the case. But then I have slept on it and I kind of understand why she would respond like that because like I said, there were just definitely journos in the audience, like undercover ones. Um, so I'm completely over it. <laughs> so over it um so yeah anyway it was a really i had a really good time so is it worth the money i think so i had a really great time i think like you have to be a katie price fan and be into makeup if you're just going there to like try and i don't know i don't even know um not for you I, you just have to be into makeup and you have to like katie price so for any of you out there who may be looking to buy some tickets to go to the masterclass, I highly recommend. I'll leave the link to her merch website down below. This is not sponsored in any way, by the way. Um, I had a really good time and I hope this information was good and useful. And yeah, go and buy your tickets, link below. Do let me know if you want me to do more of these um, videos, um, comment below. I know um, Chloe Ferry has a salon in Newcastle, so Maybe I should take a trip up there. But as always, guys, make sure that you link, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for another video.